All right, everyone, we are back again. We are here with Alex. Uh, Death Gambit is his game. He's going to go through and show us uh, some footage, explain the game for people who may not understand or know what this game is about. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alex, go ahead and uh, explain what's going on here. Sure. Well, this is the start screen. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. um, all of this is obviously still a work in progress. Um, but uh, showing the character on horseback. <laughs> And then this is sort of where everything kicks off. Okay. Um, this is one of the earlier levels of the game, um, but obviously the whole starting experience is going to be a little different. Um, what happens here, it introduces you to the sort of traversal mechanics a little bit. You've got some climbing. Some platforming and stuff? Yeah, platforming. And What's the overall goal of the game or story behind it? Sure. So, um, Initially, you start off on an expedition, and the uh, the horse riding sequence that's going to be obviously buffed, so to speak, with a whole army. Okay. You know? And uh, you guys are sent on this expedition to find out the source of immortality that is plaguing this specific region of of the land. Okay. So all these kingdoms unite out of fear to be like, we need to figure out what's going on. Uh, and then you are sort of part of that vanguard force. Okay. Uh, but then things don't go as planned, and then you die. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. and, and death as an entity comes down, and he sort of collects your soul, and, and he gives you a purpose. He says, uh, I will essentially make you immortal if you are my agent within this world. And that's sort of where the story kicks off. Okay, and right now we're still in the beginning before that's happened. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen in this demo. Okay. But uh, yeah, that's eventually what's going to happen. Yeah. This is it's sort of like an out of order sequence for this. But. That's fun. Death takes you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I can't tell you how many times that has happened. <laughs> uh, that specific log. This right here is uh, the death trap. Is a serious death trap. It's, it's harder than our first boss. So ex explain some of the combats and stuff, because there's a lot of things that pop up when you're, you're swiping. And, and sure, things. sure. So um, we have a whole slew of weapons, and each of them has specific strengths and weaknesses. Um, the greatsword, for example, is, relatively speaking, a slow weapon, mm -hmm. but uh, it's got some great heavy attacks. Um, and the combat is all based on on timing and essentially mastering the animation system so like okay. figuring out when your opponents are going to attack and finding the opportune moment to strike Let me, uh, and then what about uh, when, you were, you, when you like defeated that guy it said like eight hope yeah what, what is all that in so there? hope is essentially our experience okay and so like you can reflect arrows back if you time it perfectly there That's we go <laughs> So in the XP in regards, to what do you get? Do you get uh, more sure. skills, stats, level up? Like what's uh, XP is essentially used for everything. It's our it's our currency for items, and it's also uh, used for leveling up and then buying new skills. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm right digging now. the artwork. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so let's see. How long has this game been in development? It's been in development for close to three years now. Okay. Yeah. Can you guys have a final window or a, a, Not a promised yet. land yet? You haven't seen that? <laughs> uh, we're, it, it's going to be in 2017 for okay. sure. Um, but there is no specific date just okay. yet. So, let's see. I can show you the UI menu just yeah, to see how whatever, the yeah, uh, show us whatever you want. That was the animation and stuff are pretty slick. I'm enjoying the the whole art the whole art direction. This whole thing is really great. As soon as I kill this guy. Alright. So real quick. Okay. There is this specific chest in the world. Um, and it says it only opens if you haven't used the Phoenix Feather, and what that means is um, if you haven't healed up to this point, okay. then you can open this chest. Okay. 
And that's just one of many systems which we have, which encourages like replayability, coming back and trying to do better. That's cool. Um, and do you know those chests are going to be in the world before you get it, or are you just no. going to see it and you have to go back and You're try to get it You're going to see again. it and be like, oh my god. I screwed what, up. What, what, oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 what most people are going to do is like, that, that enemy that I fought is pretty tough. Um, especially considering this is like one of the first levels. Mm -hmm. So what most people are going to do, if they manage to, to get all the way up to him without healing, uh, and they fight him, they're probably going to heal right after they kill him. And not realize Just to stock oh, up on health. Just to piss him off. <laughs> and then you walk right out of the screen and you see the, oh, okay, yeah. I got you. So how easy is it to replay the level then? Like when you get to that point and you're like, okay, I got to redo this thing again. Is there just a, can you read back to a checkpoint or how does that work? Yeah, so when I died, I just respawned at the at the checkpoint. Okay. Um, so based on your fit of rage that you screwed up, you just kill yourself, jump back to that last checkpoint. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I mean, like I'm already here, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're not, you weren't that far away. You know? So it's, it's not that bad. Um, all right. So no, no, I saw real quick. I saw the um, the tombstones and stuff pop. Are yeah. those the checkpoints or no? These are uh, this is our note system. Okay, okay, got it. Cool. And so this is one of the online features that we've showcased already. Uh, and people can write notes and leave hits okay. for other players. Is that uh, global based or is it just like uh, friend based or how does that work? Uh, it's you? it's global. Okay. Yeah. So this is this is what our UI our inventory looks like. Okay. Obviously, it's got you've got helms, cape, boots, whatever you can customize with, and you always have a shield equipped, okay. and you can have two weapon slots at any time. Uh, and so here now I've, I've switched up the the great sword with the halberd. Okay. Uh, and then we also have all the stat stuff here, like any RPG. Um, you're an experience, and you level. Will it automatically uh, level, or do you get to choose no, where you want to you put have it in? To go, you have to go to a, the save point, and then that's where you level up, which okay. I, I'm approaching right now. So. Okay, yeah, let's check that out. Oh, that just kind of shit on everyone's day. <laughs> <laughs> so what are those, those? These are just items in this those little glowing? Items. Okay. I can level up. I cannot okay. level up. I don't even have enough experience to level up just yet. Okay, yeah. But, so if you got two uh, more you hope, you can go through and choose and yeah. make your guy the. Yeah. What is the? Um, what are some of these um, descriptions? Uh, so vitality is health, and like. Let me get two more experience. Okay. <laughs> just so you can see. Just so you can see it. Yeah. This is going to be the hardest to experience game you've ever gotten. <laughs> I've got. So you have to fight this guy while this bird is breathing fire all over. Yep. Oh my god. This guy is really tough too. I'm probably gonna die from no. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to mention that. I was gonna say I'm probably gonna die from the fall damage. So fall damage is, is real. Yeah, but thankfully we're right here, so that's okay. So uh, when you die, you it's, you don't drop your hope or anything like that. Uh, what instead you do drop is your healing item. Okay. Um, and so that sort of forces the player to reapproach the same situation but more cautiously okay. because they're one yeah, health item stuff back yeah. okay. um, so now we can level up because you defeat that guy right yes okay yeah you got plenty of hope so now you can see you can see specifically what leveling oh, okay. certain so, you go down does. Do. so it's like physical def defense increases by two health increases by like ten and same with all the strength and finesse and whatnot 
That's so yeah, it's really detailed then, so you can play exactly how you want to play every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So for now I'm gonna increase vitality. How um how long gameplay wise do you think this game will, will give people to go through from beginning to end? Uh, I can't say. No no okay. Yeah, that's very specific to the player. We've had people play this demo for like an hour and not even get to the boss. Oh, okay. And then I can get to it in like five minutes, you know. Okay. So it's like very... So mileage may vary. Got yeah. it. Um, and so this is also your abilities tree. Not okay. really a tree, just <laughs> what you have available to you. So these will eventually all fill up with abilities that you'll gain? Yeah. Okay. And then you just choose the, t the three that you want. The three that you want. And then Perfect. those show up here. Uh, in our map to the D-pad. Okay. And some of them are weapon specific, so uh, this ability you need a great sword for. Uh, oh, that's okay. I think I saw that come across the screen saying you didn't have, you weren't yeah. able to use that because you didn't have the white weapon. Okay. Uh, so we know this game's coming out for the PS4. Yes. Um, is there any other consoles and systems you plan on getting this on? Uh, so far, we've announced on PC and PS4. PC. Okay. Cool. So the boss is coming up, and I'll be able to show you guys that. So by you resting there, you get your stuff back too, like heals and just, stuff? Just health and, okay. yeah. Health and out. And so I, I mentioned before that you're always going to have a shield equipped. Mm -hmm. um, but then you can obviously get different types of shields that change their effect. Um, this one is just a standard shield. Mm -hmm. um, this one, for example, allows you to move twice as fast while blocking. Okay. Um, so this one is like this speed. <laughs> there you Doing go. the double step. That's yeah. it. Yeah, so you I like I like how the, the actual shield changes like in the animation wise. So yeah. you, you, it actually physically looks different. You're not using. It's not the same animation for many different shields. Right. That's cool. Okay. Uh, let's see how this goes. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's the boss? Yeah. Holy shit. All right, now this is impressive. That scale just... <laughs> the way the game zooms out, and now you're just this little tiny character on yeah. the screen. That's amazing. We had one player ask us if the scale difference was a bug. <laughs> they walked into the room and they were like, did the player shrink? <laughs> Feeling feel out a bug? Like, uh, guys, we got a bug report here. Ow. Okay, this is awesome. I'm really, I'm really digging this right here. <laughs> oh god! We have working Look, ragdolls. Just flinging around, <laughs> yeah. just, just barely hanging on. There we go. So that just showed you where he was going to land? Yeah. Okay. okay. So do all your moves use the stamina? So you have yeah. to you have to kind of plan what you're going to do? Uh, literally everything uses stamina <laughs> to some degree. Okay. So it's not just run through and keep hitting the attack button and run out? Okay. How do I get mine to run like that one? Um, I can reset it in a second. And so that's, cool. that's that. That's it. There it is. The first boss taken down. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> this game looks awesome. Thank you. Thanks again, Alex. Thanks you for taking the time. Yeah, and, uh, my pleasure. Taking time showing us Death Gambit. Yeah. Check this game out. Again, uh, we're going to keep in touch with him and get more information as much as we can on this game because this looks really fun. I'm thank really excited you. to see this game. Uh, thank you again. Enjoy the rest of your con, man. Thank you. Thank Same you. Thank you.